It is Monday, so you know what that means. John Harbaugh had his weekly uh, press conference that he has every single Monday. And, I mean, I, this press conference, he didn't really say anything too crazy. Uh, not anything really significant. It's a lot of the same stuff. We got to get better. We got to do better. Uh, the, we got to execute better. We got to coach better. A lot of the same stuff. Um, he did, one of the things that I appreciated, one reporter asked him, uh, do they have like the, the data as far as the difference in success rate when the plays are called in, like when the plays are, are in early and they have a lot of time left on the play clock versus the success rate when they get the plays off like right before the snap. And Harbaugh said, no, maybe I had to have somebody look into that. And I was thinking, hold up now. Like, Ravens are, and let me know if I'm the only one, because sometimes I'd be, like, behind on stuff. But I was thinking Ravens are the first team that I have ever heard, especially so extensively, speak of analytics. So I would definitely think that they would have the data on that. But anyway, um, he did also bring up, I mean, speaking of the plays getting in late, they talked about how in the first half the plays are getting in late, and they spoke about it, and they got it adjusted in the second half. Now, I, I know nobody is expecting, like, this issue to go away. Even if they fix it in the second half, nobody's expecting it to go away uh, for the long term because this has just been a thing with their offense for years. When the offense has been doing good, the play's been getting in late. When the offense has been doing bad, the play's getting in late. It just it happens. The plays have been getting in late for years, so it's not going to go away overnight. And I, I don't think it would be even reasonable to expect it to. It's reasonable to hope that it does, but it's not reasonable to expect it to. Um, he did talk about the whole... He didn't talk about the Lamar Jackson versus Jamison Hensley thing. I'm sure Matt Judon is really appreciating all of this. But he did. He just talked about the Lamar Jackson tweet by itself. Um, and he talked about how with Lamar, he, he just he talked to him a couple of times, said, hey, you, gotta, you just got to stay off Twitter. He said somebody told him about the tweet. Harbaugh, ain't nobody tell you about the tweet. I know you got Twitter. We all know you got Twitter, John Harbaugh. We know. You, you ain't got a lot. And I know you don't want to put out your, 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 your at. You don't want people to be tweeting at you and stuff. But I, I know you be on there. We know you be on there. And it's okay. It's okay. Keep using that burner. But anyway, um, he said that somebody told him about the, the, the Lamar tweet. And he just said, hey, yeah, you got to stay off Twitter. Especially after a loss. Because it's not a good place to be. And I was like, okay, Harbaugh. Yeah, you, you spot on about that. But enough times, even after a win, it's still not a good place to be. Even if there's no game going on, it ain't a good place to be. But because y'all know how Twitter can get, it can get really, yeah. Um, but that was that. So again, nothing crazy. But he did uh, bring up J.K. Dobbins, and he said that uh, J.K. Dobbins, um, that he will will he'll be back at practice this week. Uh, to some degree he'll practice to some degree so that is positive news on jk dobbins it's not great news because i mean if, if somebody's practicing to some degree that's like him saying oh their knee is stable to where the season's not over but you should not expect them uh back anytime soon and remember that the knee was stable that's what he said about kyle hamilton he said Ronnie Stanley was straight. They still got to get an MRI. And he ain't played either. So, again, and, and J.K. Dobbins, even if he said, oh, J.K. Dobbins, he's going to be practicing this week, and he said J.K. Dobbins was practicing at four, it still shouldn't and wouldn't be an expectation that he would play, uh, like, right away. Because, again, they've been being extra, extra caught, especially with a J.K. Dobbins. Like, with J it's weird because, and, and they did say with J.K. Dobbins, he had a lot more damage than Gus did. Um, but they said with Gus, I think, Something went wrong with I, something went wrong with the recovery, I believe, um, and it took a little longer than they thought it was. But with J.K. Dobbins, we just see the difference from when he came back versus when Gus came back. When J.K. Dobbins came back, they were like, "Okay, you could play a little there, play a little there, play a little here." All right, that's it. When Gus came back, Gus, you full go, go do your thing. They threw him all the way out there. Um, so. Clearly, they then with this being J.K., this is gonna be his second time coming back this season. Yeah, they're gonna definitely take it extra slow. Uh, we'll be going into next week is I think week thirteen, so we got to week eighteen. So, um, yeah, I, I would expect him back because uh, he got a twenty-one day window, obviously. But even if once he's activated to the active roster, they don't have to they don't have to play him. All they gotta do so he can play this season is just put him on the roster. It ain't like you gotta throw him back out there right away. And I don't expect him to. I, I don't expect J.K. Dobbins this for the rest of the season to ever really get a full workload. I expect him to be a uh, complimentary back to a Gus, to a, a um, to a Drake, to a Justice. I, I don't expect him to to be a feature back this season at all. It's just it's not gonna happen. 
So, but I do expect him to still play. And, and again, I think they just do the ramp up effect, the same thing they did with Ronnie Stanley. Let him play a little bit in the beginning, then let him play a little bit more, maybe. Then let, but at the same time, we'll see because Drake is healthy. And I mean, with Gus, you, you obviously, Gus is the better back and you want to ride with the hot hand. But Drake is healthy. He got two snaps. J.K. Dobbins, he's not fully healthy. And so, again, his snaps are going to be limited whenever he does come back, uh, whenever he does play. So don't expect him to go crazy, anything like that. I mean, it'll be a nice surprise, but I don't think it should be expectation, especially the way that they're going to treat uh, this thing. But anyway, just want to give you all a quick update. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all so much. And just like J.K. Dobbins won't be for too much longer, we out.